All right, everybody, today I'm gonna to show you how to pair your hearing aids to your smartphone or your tablet. Um, right now I'm gonna show you how to do it in uh, with an iPhone or an iPad. But again, if you have an Android phone, it's gonna be kind of similar. Um, you might be going to your Bluetooth settings to get that set up. If you're ever having any issues, I know with the Android, there are some issues that have happened in the past. So it's always easiest with the Androids. Keep your hearing aids in the charger. Take your left one out first and pair the left hearing aid. And then after the left one pairs, then you'll take the right one out and pair it. That usually fixes and solves the issue. Um, but as far as where we're at, first thing we wanna do is we wanna put them on the charger. That's gonna turn them off. When you take them off the charger, it's actually going to stay in pairing mode for about two minutes so you can actually pair your hearing devices to that device. Now, if I have them already paired to my phone and now I'm trying to pair them to my tablet, but they're already connected right now to my phone, I can try as much as I can and it's not gonna show them on my tablet. I actually have to turn my Bluetooth off on my phone and then put them on the charger as far as the hearing aids, take them off, and then it's actually going to go into that, um, into that mode um, where I can actually now see them and connect them. So if you ever have it, if you do have it connected to two different devices, remember you can only be connected to one device at a time. So if I'm on my tablet and I'm like, hey, I'm done with my tablet watching my movie or whatever, now I wanna have it stream my phone calls and everything to my ears, you're gonna turn your Bluetooth off on your tablet, turn it on, the Bluetooth on on your phone, so it can reconnect and now it's connected to that one device. And that might change in the future when um, Apple and some of these other um, software companies allow us to be connected to more than one device at a time. And you might not have to worry about that, but as far as right now in this video, yes, you do. So, um, so let me, uh, I'm gonna show you really quick where in the app you do all of this stuff. So let me just get everything um, set up first here. Okay, so I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be going away uh, my video, but you're gonna see everything from my tablet screen, okay? So remember, put them on the charger, turns them off. I'm gonna take them out of the charger to pair them. Now with the iPhone, doesn't matter, you're gonna take them both off at the same, like the same time. So take them off. Um, you can just let them sit there on the on the table and then you're gonna jump into your pairing setting. So here we go, I'm gonna show you here in just a second. All right, so now I have them connected here to my app. I'm gonna click on my gearbox, which is my settings. As I jump into my settings, I'm gonna scroll down to accessibility, click on accessibility. The third box is gonna say hearing hearing devices. I'm going to click on hearing devices. Now it's actually searching for the hearing devices. So I'm going to take them off the charger. So it'll actually show up. Okay. And uh, they should have your name on there. Um, these are my demos. So they're going to say heroes of hearing. So you'll notice that right here it said, uh, I think it was the left or the right. And then it said L plus or R plus L. Now it, it can, it's detected both of them. So wait for the R plus the L. So and I'm gonna click on just where it says not paired. Okay, now it's going to say, hey, do you wanna pair these to your device? I'm gonna click right here on the pair option. Okay, I'm gonna get the other side. I'm gonna click pair again. You'll notice right here, they're connecting. There's the right, there's the left. All right, now we are all connected and set up. In this version of the software, it gives me a few different options, right? Do I wanna to stream to the right? Do I wanna to stream to the left? These are turned on. If I have these turned off, it's not gonna to stream to both ears. Um, right here, it says adjust independently. This is all new stuff because I used to not have this. Um, no, I don't want them to adjust independently because then what happens is I get this, right? So you're you're not gonna jump into the, the phone stuff on your app to, to change your volume. You're gonna actually use the Thrive app to do this, okay? So, but yeah, see, it looks like it's still not, 
is still changing them both at the same time. So, um, so try not to touch these buttons as much as you can. But now I'm connected. So now that I'm connected, I'm actually going to go to the Thrive app. Okay. Uh, as I jump into the Thrive app, let me get out of demo mode. Okay, I'm gonna quit that. Just one second, let me jump back into it. Okay, so it's gonna say searching for devices. Up here at the top, you're gonna get a red exclamation, a circle with exclamation. This means that it's just, it's trying to connect, right? If I tap on it, hey, I connected to the left. Now I'm trying to find the right, okay? Um, and then eventually it will connect to both. That'll go away. like it did so now I'm connected to both of them and because I was playing around with it you see that I'm off I'm not off at the same so double tap here in the middle it's gonna reset everything back now you're gonna use the app to again make it louder by uh, clicking and dragging this way or clicking and dragging this way right in between these two bars okay don't click on the circles because then you're gonna go off balance again click in the middle right but now I'm off balance, so I'm going to double tap. Now it's going to recenter me to the hash marks, and that's where I have them programmed at. Okay? Watch the other tutorial videos to jump in to see how to use the app. But right now, I just wanted to show you how to connect your hearing aids to your tablet or to your phone. Okay? So if I jump back here, that's how you do it. If you ever are having any issues or problems, um, like I said earlier, what you want to do is you want to quit the app. So double tap your button. It'll show all your apps that you have open. Slide up to close it. If you have the newer phones that don't have the button, you're going to go from the very bottom and slowly go up and it's going to start to show you all the apps you have open and then you'll swipe up and close those. Um, and just shut your phone all the way off. A lot of times we'll plug our phones in and charge our phones and what that does is it always stays on. So sometimes just shutting our phone all the way off, restarting, rebooting our phone is gonna help it to connect a lot better. If you're noticing that you're having issues where, hey, everything was great, now it's only streaming to one ear, and I'm jumping in here and they're both connected, it could be when Apple pushed a new update, that update's missing around with your Bluetooth um, and I've had this happen in my car. So I'm driving in my car and all of a sudden I'm talking to somebody and then I can't hear them. I'm like, what's going on? And it pushed them back to the phone and I'm trying from my phone to push it back to my surround sound in my car and it won't work. Um, if that ever happens, uh, what you're gonna do is you're gonna unpair your hearing devices and then repair them. So let me show you that really quick while I just had that thought. So let me jump back in. Oop, let me jump back in here, okay. Um, okay, so to unpair your hearing devices, you're going to go back to your settings and then you're going to scroll down over here on the side to accessibility. You're going to go to hearing devices, which is right here. And then now it's blue. It says it's connected. If they weren't connected, it would be gray. But since it's blue, it lets you know it's connected. If I tap anywhere right here on this bar, it's going to take me to this, all my settings. I scroll down all the way to the very bottom and it's going to say, forget this device. Okay. If I click forget this device, it's going to forget your hearing devices. And now I just want to put them on the charger, take them off the charger. So they're in blue, blue in Bluetooth mode and then repair them. Okay. And that's how you, that's how you do that. There is a little, secret here I'll show you which is called um, start live listen what start live listen does is if I have this turned on I come in my phone I push on this it's actually going to use my microphone on my device and it's going to stream it to my ears so if I have my tablet over and I'm within 30 feet um, I can use that so if I have if I'm in an environment and it's really hard for me to hear um, and I'm trying to hear somebody and I don't have any of the accessories, you actually can jump in here, turn that on, and now somebody can talk right into your microphone on your hearing aid, or excuse me, microphone on your phone, and it's gonna transmit it through Bluetooth to your hearing aid. So that's what the Start Live Listen is. Um, but 
For the most part, that's how you pair and unpair your hearing devices. So I hope that, uh, hope that helped. And if you're having any problems or issues, feel free to reach out to me, let me know, because I definitely want to make sure that you're able to pair your hearing device to your hearing aids. All right, see you in the next video. Thank <laughs> you.